Hey guys, just outside my workshop today. I'm getting a lot of questions about my grinding jig. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to make one and how to use it. So come along and then we'll go inside. So as you can see I have three uh, laser cut plates. Uh, why laser cut? It's very cheap. It's very uh, easy. I dis disassembled the jig. It's uh, really rather easy because uh, the entire jig can be bolted together except for this part and this part which holds the threaded part uh, that changes the angle. So only thing you need to do is weld this one and countersink some holes as you can see here because then it's flush with the bottom uh, and there is no interference when you slide the jig around. So on one side I left the hinge on it and now I'm gonna attach the other side and it's really really simple. You just take uh, the bolt, it's countersunk, you put it through the countersunk hole and you just uh, screw them tight. These bolts they have the rubber sealing ring in them and it means that they won't vibrate loose during grinding and it's very important because otherwise the angle of your jig will be different every time. So as you can see everything is flush with the plates and you can adjust the angle and there is uh, no wobble at all. So this threaded part is the main thing what it's all about on the grinding jig. Uh, I don't know how it's called in English but uh, by adjusting the two points and by turning uh, you can change the angle of the jig and that is of course what this is all about. So I fix this using a bolt, uh, a washer and these special nuts with rubber seal ring uh, and make sure that they don't come loose and also make sure that they're tight uh, so you won't have any problems over time. Everything is now assembled uh, and the main function is of course uh, adjusting the angle and it's very easy by turning the thread. So, of course you still need a method to hold the blade. Uh, so let's take a blade like this one. Uh, you want to clamp it down and the way I do it and I'm really proud of this because it's very easy. You have like these bolts uh, and you have square holes and these square bottoms of the hole uh, bolts and it means that they're flush uh, and you don't need to cut any threads in the steel and like this uh, you can use these special uh, nuts so let's put a wash between it that means that it's very easy to adjust and you don't need any uh, spanners or wrenches And by you have three points to clamp it, and just by turning, uh, you can clamp you can clamp down the blade. So the jig is now finished. All we have to do is uh, weld these two points, uh, countersink uh, the holes here, and thread the entire thing together. Uh, so it's really easy. Uh, make sure if you weld to clamp down the plate to make sure it stays flat uh, and now I'm going to show you how to grind plates with it. So what we have here is a batch of uh, lineage barriers. They're called after the Oosterschelde Storm Surge Barrier which is the barrier that keeps my workshop safe because it's actually a couple of feet below sea level. Uh, why this works so well? Uh, why this jig works so well for working in batches uh, is because of this part. It's uh, steel, uh, also stainless with a threaded side and just a loose side. And what it does is it slides over the knife like that and it dictates the angle uh, on both front side and back side. So like this. Uh, and that makes sure that every knife is very constant uh, 
and that you can work a bit quicker in batches. So we are here at the belt grinder. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place the knife and as you can see because of this part uh, it's always aligned and the smart thing about this jig is when you change directions the knife is always in the same angle this way and always in the same angle uh, towards the belt. So here's the finished end result, as you can see, nicely symmetrical on both sides. Um, it's a really easy way of grinding with this jig and that makes it just so much uh, funner because your end result is so much nicer. Um, feel free to use the jig, uh, don't sell it uh, and uh, do your advantage with it. So this was uh, my tutorial, please subscribe and I'll see you again next time.